People always ask me, what is your favorite tool for speech magic, for creating that speech connection, that pizzazz, that deep transforming connection with your audience? And I am going to share it with you today. Are you ready? Are you sitting down? Hmm. And this is after about nine years of learning tips and tricks on public speaking from many different sources. Here we go. My favorite tool absolute favorite and I will tell you why soon Karen Katz here authentic speaking coach to bold spiritual entrepreneurs ready to share their message fearlessly and create the impact and income you're here to create this is how I came about my favorite tool I was working with a client who was going to speak at a large conference. It was her first event, so you can imagine she was very, very nervous. As the date got closer, she got more and more nervous. So a lot of our work is about clearing the space and self-care, relaxation, allowing things to flow. A lot of what she needed was a ton of self-care because she was under a lot of stress. And the more stress, the more jumbled her thoughts and the harder it was to find the words to express what she wanted to express from her heart. At one point, we were about four days close to the conference and she was excited about it but at the same time she was feeling there's something about it that's not quite right it's not fitting and like we all do when there's something that's not quite working for us we work harder at it we try harder and she was trying to put everything that she had in her mind into words and finding the perfect story but something was missing to her it was that sizzle wasn't there at some point she said I'm just ah oh, I can't take this anymore right and she opted for the mask she put it on and took a few minutes to center after half an hour, immediately she got up, went to her phone, started to check in case she missed anything in that half hour, messages, emails, and there she sees a message from her sister. You're not gonna believe what happened. Immediately she calls her sister. The story was the absolute perfect story to explain in detail that soul message that she wanted to impact her audience with. That perfect story just happened to come to her after she had taken these 20 or 30 minutes to relax and give herself a little bit of space, a little bit of relaxation, a little bit of time just to chill, to gather herself to give herself the space she needed. One of the things I love the most about working with clients as a speaking coach is that shift that is made from where our logical minds think, this is all I need to do and this is what I need to learn and these are the skills I need to practice and get better at, this is what I need to improve, information putting in. Coming in, coming in, coming in, coming in. Getting better, improving, right? To the shift of this is what flows that is freaking amazing when I'm connected to my soul and my essence and speaking from my heart. 
everybody I work with or has joined my group to do lives together, every single person says the same thing. I never knew that public speaking could be fun. Really? Public speaking up there with the fear of death and fun in the same sentence? Yes, public speaking can be fun and the process to get there could be amazing, fun, exciting, enjoyable, self-caring, nourishing, self-loving. To me, it's a journey deep into yourself where you discover talents, gifts, and abilities, courage, strength, and power that you had an inkling, you had an idea was there that you can finally give it a name, put a feeling to it, own it, stand up, and share it. And that's what public speaking is all about. Namaste.